my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a blue gradient to share with you and I'm going to stamp some goldfish on it. And here we go. I have started off with Neltique's Formula 2. I'll be using Alania's Caribbean Dream as my base color and I topped it off with pure ice so it would dry. I've got me some liquid latex on to keep it from getting too messy. We're doing the Caribbean Dream again and I'm also going to use Perfect Storm from the Alanis collection. And I'm using a dampened makeup sponge that I've cut in half. And these polishes are kind of crelly like so I'm going to have to build them up. They are, they are not super opaque, but they're not jellies. They've definitely got the crelly vibe going on. And there we go. We've got our first coat on. We're going to go in for a second coat. I am going for a water look for my little goldfish. And there we go. Got the second coat done. And we're doing a third coat. <laughs> and I'm just rolling it on and then doing some dabbing, going back and forth and a little bit up and down. Kind of get that gradient to be a gradient. And we're going to go in with the fourth coat. I normally don't have to go this far with a gradient, but like I said, these are kind of crelly like so it's taking a little bit more to get the opacity that I want. And here we go. You can kind of see the difference between the gradient and just the base color that I used. I'm going to go ahead and get this liquid latex off. Maneuvering to get that rascal off of there. You know, it always won't stack up when you're on camera. All the other ones just popped off like nobody's business. <laughs> That's okay, I have tweezers. And there we go. And I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush, and I have gone back to using my acetone. <laughs> The non-acetone nail polish remover just takes too long and I'm super impatient. Of course my cuticles and all the skin around my fingers are not happy with me. Get, get that nice and cleaned up, hopefully. Sometimes I get a little overzealous on my cleanup. I will be the first to admit that. And that is why I didn't use a white base under my gradient. I just used the lightest color from my gradient. Um, every time I do a gradient over a white base, when I go to do my cleanup, I get so crazy on my cleanup that the white ends up sticking out from under the gradient, like around the edges, especially around the cuticle. So that's why this is kind of a hard to see gradient. I know you can see it, but it's a little more subtle. It's not like popping your face like some of them I've done. But that's kind of what I was going for because I kind of wanted it to look like water in a pool or not like a swimming pool but like a goldfish pond. You know people sometimes have those. So that's what I was going for. A little thought process on this one. <laughs> Hopefully wrap this cleanup up. I'm thinking I'm done. Nope. <laughs> Trying to kind of brush backwards to get that blue that is up tight up in the cuticle area. It just worries me to pieces, y'all. There we go. Maybe I'm happy now. Must be, because here we go. We're going to put some top coat on it. And I'm using Pure Ice Girl on the run today. Smooth that out, which makes it even less noticeable as a gradient. But that's okay. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. In the long run, you'll see the pictures at the end and hopefully you'll like it too. There we go. And here's the gradient, kind of a shadowed picture, but it's there. I can see it. 
I'm going to use this Bundle Monster 725 plate and I'm going to use some new stamp and polishes that I got from Nicole Diary. They don't have names, <laughs> just numbers. <laughs> and I'm going to try to isolate little goldfish, which is kind of hard because this is kind of a buffet style stamp and plate, which means you're going to have to use some tape to get all the excess off that you don't want. And I've been kind of seeing this one in my head for a little while and figured with it getting all warm and nice outside, I would go ahead and do this one. And this is the first time I've used any of the Nicole Diary stamp and polishes and I only used the gold one today so that's really all I can go from but I'm pretty impressed. These are really nice so far like I said really nice stamping polishes. It didn't dry too quick, even with all that cleanup that I did with the tape, you know, getting all that extra gobbledygook off of there. Um, sometimes I have trouble with stamping polishes, even stamping polishes drying too quick while I'm doing this, so I was pretty impressed. And I'm not really having any rhyme or reason of how I'm putting these on here. I'm just kind of some are facing up, some are facing down. I was just playing. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, I am using my monocle stamper and my Faber Nails scraper card. This monocle stamper has just become my go-to, especially if I want to see where I'm placing my image been very hard on it and I've used it a lot and it doesn't have any boo-boos in it. Yay, knock on wood. And on this one, I'm going to do two little goldfish on one nail. It's kind of long, and there was enough room to do two. Now, on this next one is my ring finger, and I'm going to use some of the, like, water flowers that they have. I figured that would look good on, you know, an accent nail. That stamp and polish is doing just great. I'm loving it. And I know you guys have probably noticed, but I've been kind of wearing a lot of blue nail polish. I don't know what it is about this time of year. I just get crazy on the blue. In fact, I think my last manicure, I was actually had told my son that I was going to either do orange or yellow or pink or something. And of course I didn't. <laughs> Got my nail polish off and changed my mind. I sat down to paint them. So there we go. We're all stamped up and we're going to top this manicure off again with the Pure Ice Girl on the Run. And look how gorgeous. It's not smearing. It's not distorting it. I love it. Make it look so pretty. And I'm going to cap that in so I can wear this for a little while. Break out the orange wood stick. There we go. <clears throat> and there it is on my shorter nails. Let's back this up just a little bit. I have taken my right hand back down a little bit more, not because of a break, just because I've been busy at work. So I wanted to have, have a chance of keeping them. And here's my photo. I hope you like this one. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.